They were the subject of a Channel 4 News investigation some months ago, Blackwater, a private security firm operating in Iraq. Now, the government of Iraq says it's withdrawing Blackwater's license to operate after an incident that killed at least eight civilians over the weekend in Baghdad. Channel 4's Laurel Erickson has the story. The State Department's convoy moved through western Baghdad, protected by Blackwater security agents, one of the most profitable private armies in the world. Suddenly, a car exploded. Reportedly, there was gunfire from several directions. The hired soldiers stepped out, and overhead, two Blackwater helicopters opened fire onto the square. Eleven civilians killed. Today, the Iraq government wants Blackwater's hired guns out of the country. If they're lawless in Iraq, and the Iraqi government can't stop them, why will they be within law in California? Political activist Rick Jacobs says Californians could wind up seeing Blackwater's private armies patrolling earthquake-struck neighborhoods just like those residents in western Baghdad did yesterday. Now Blackwater wants to open a massive base in the desert east of San Diego. Driving ranges for tank maneuvers and firing practice. As Blackwater's private army tries to expand markets, Jacobs asked what Blackwater patrols might do along the Mexican border. What we're really doing is aiding and abetting the creation, in my opinion, of a mafia-like organization. This weekend's bloodshed raises new questions about how Blackwater operates and to whom it answers, and whether the Iraq government even has the clout to send packing this private army and its $100 million government contract. The U.S. State Department says Blackwater's regrettable killing of civilians was a direct response to a perceived threat the U.S. is investigating. The initial reports are from multiple directions, from people running around armed, uh, almost 360 degrees. Laurel Erickson, Channel 4 News.